Hi, I'm Sam, the Harry Potter from a parallel universe where we made friends with fish instead of a Burmese python at London Zoo. Um, 15 months ago, I started a master's at the University of Cambridge in fish science, or more specifically zoology. Um, and then three months ago, I spent several hours trying to persuade two really good scientists that the things the fish had told me fish over science. the course of the year were scientifically important. So what I want to do today is give my thoughts on whether or not that year was worth it and whether getting in £12,000 more debt has paid off. Um, and as you can tell from the fact I clearly live uh, in the dank space underneath someone's stairs, the answer might surprise you. In short, the answer is yes, my life is probably better, but not necessarily for the reasons you might think. So, should you come to Cambridge to do a master's? First of all, not all masters at Cambridge are made equal. There are two real kinds of MPhils, those where you learn things by being taught to them, and those where you learn things by doing them. And my master's was one of the latter. I spent 12 months studying how the skulls and jaws of a group of fish called cichlids from East Africa have evolved over the course of the last several many thousands of years. It was 100% research. I spent nine to five in the lab, regardless of whether or not lockdown was happening, I was still in the lab working and learning. I spent all day with these guys, feeding them, dissecting them, staining their skeletons and imaging them. And it was great. I learned a huge amount and not just about fish evolution, but also about what it really means to be a scientist. I got experience in statistics. I got lab experience. I got the chance to come up with ideas and find out what the answer to those ideas was. It was also my first experience of working on a project for more than three months. And because of that, it was a great window into what life doing a PhD would be like. Other masters, on the other hand, uh, will be an extension of your undergraduate degree, uh, not only at Cambridge, but the other masters I applied for in various other places um, were going to be an opportunity to learn more, but not necessarily to learn whether or not becoming a scientist was the right thing for me. What I'm saying is that if you want to do a PhD, a, an MPhil at Cambridge is a really good way to work that out because of how self-directed it is. And not only that, you're getting a year of experience in a lab, which is always going to look good on an application. So am I doing a PhD? Am I dedicating the next three years of my life to doing science? No. Um, I, I'm not. I applied for PhDs um, and I got some offers, but I eventually decided that doing a, a PhD wasn't where I wanted to, to be in my life, um, not least because of COVID. What am I doing then? Well, I have a job. I work as a cancer researcher. I'm doing data science in a cancer research startup, which span off from Cambridge. And I'd be lying to you if I said I could have got that job without my MPhil here but not because my MPhil made me more qualified, not because my MPhil made me necessarily smarter, purely because I am in Cambridge. Um, there are benefits to being here as outside of just studying and, and, and learning and, and what you learn, just by the very nature of being here in a city which is not only um, just busy where lots of people are, but but which is really starting up with regards to startups. Um, there's tons of biotech and health tech startups kicking off here, and therefore it's a really good place to be to find employment. Would I have considered applying for jobs in Cambridge before I came here? No. Um, now, to be completely frank, do I think that I am earning more or uh, starting higher up the ladder than I would have done off the back of my undergraduate degree? Um, once again, no. Um, and on that front, did my master's necessarily benefit me? I'm not entirely sure, um, to be candid. But nonetheless, uh, regardless of that, being in the right place at the right time is key to success in life. And because of being in Cambridge for this job, I was in the right place at the right time. Anyway, there is more to a degree than what you learn and the job that you get at the end of it. Um, and Admittedly, my experience of this is perhaps a little bit different to uh, those who have come before me, if you will, uh, in that I spent many months uh, from November until whenever it was that, that lockdown ended in 2021. Um, not having as much of a social life as I perhaps otherwise would. Uh, a lot of the things I wanted to do weren't necessarily happening. And uh, thus, I spent a lot of my time by myself or with my a small group of friends when I could do, um, 
doing other things and and actually i think that the biggest benefit for me from doing a master's um at cambridge but but i think doing a master's more generally was the free time that came with it throughout my undergrad degree uh, i had time but because of the having exams i was constantly having to study whereas working on a more open-ended project with a, a dissertation at the end of it of uh 20 000, 25 000 words meant that i had more free time and I could schedule my time how I wanted to rather than working to deadline after deadline after deadline and the benefit of that as I said is, is that it gave me time to explore the things I enjoy I started a podcast I started um, streaming I started getting paid to play Dungeons and Dragons which is about as nerdy as a sentence could get but my point is that I had the opportunity to develop skills that I've enjoyed working on for a long time but haven't had the time to get into the nitty gritty of. Now, admittedly, it's not what I'm doing for my job, but nonetheless, the the opportunities uh, I, I've had as a result of having that extra free time to do other courses, to get involved in more science communication uh, were great. But once again, do, do I think they were specific to Cambridge? No, I think that just the nature of doing a master's, of having more independence than you have on an undergrad, even though you're quite independent then, is, is, is what really helped with that. I'm really just gave me the opportunity to, to enjoy my free time before I got into the world of work. And trust me, when I say that uh, working nine to six every day means I don't have quite as much time to do those things as I would otherwise like to. The final thing about Cambridge, and I've, I've briefly touched on it, is, uh, and I would say the biggest benefit to being here is the city itself. I've said that there are great work opportunities, but Having lived in London, which is very much a concrete jungle, albeit I spent most of my days at the Natural History Museum working there, the opportunity to walk through green spaces very frequently, even just on my commute to the lab every single day, walking along the River Cam, um, was great for my mental health. There's a reason that I still live here now, um, and it's that it's a great place to be, even in unusual circumstances. And I would say that the that, that, one of the great benefits of, of doing a master's here is just getting to be here. And the final thing I think anyone might want to know is, was it hard? Not immensely. It required a lot of self-motivation. Um, but because I applied for something I love and something I, I love working on and would happily talk about to the end of days, the evolution of vertebrates of fish, it was a joy. It was really a joy. And I spent 12 months uh, with people who loved doing what I was doing and had a really, really great time. Was it worth doing an MPhil here? I would argue to some extent that there was not much more benefit for my career being here than being anywhere else. Um, Cambridge here and, and doing a master's here is much like doing a master's anywhere. It's an opportunity for you to better yourself. Cambridge is an amazing place and there are plenty of other amazing places uh, in the UK around the world. But do I think that, that doing a master's here is some sort of academic holy grail? My honest answer is no. And so importantly, I wouldn't beat yourself up if you make the decision not to come here or you apply and you don't get an offer or you choose not to come here. Wherever you are, you'll, you'll have the amazing opportunities that, that I've, I've had here, which were a lot of them came from within, which is all very philosophical. Um, if any of you ever have any questions about coming here, about getting into Imperial for uh, a, a bachelor's in any degree, um, feel free to DM me on Instagram, that's at Uncharted Science, or on Twitter, which is where I'm far more active, either at SJ underscore Mackay or at Lovecraft DND. And I will endeavor to always get back to you. And I'm always happy to chat. Speak to you soon.